Hello and welcome to Prime News with me Karen Demelo. Let's have a look at the headlines first. CEO Kunal orders inquiry to North and South Goa collectors into alleged distribution of ballot papers after the 4th February elections. All party members unanimously agreed to CEO decision. Advocate Iris Rodriguez moves to GHRC over inordinate delay by government in processing the pension papers to retiring employees. Says the retirement benefits are saving of lifetime and cannot be denied. Verna police rescues two girls in a raid procured for the purpose of prosecution. Police arrest brothel keeper and the house owner under the Immoral Traffic Prevention Act. Now the news in detail. Chief Electoral Officer Kunal on Friday ordered inquiry to the North and South Goa collectors into the alleged distribution of ballot papers after the 4th February elections. According to the Election Commission guidelines, all the ballot papers had to be dispatched by 4th February and there were many instances where the ballot papers were distributed even after election. The order was given at the all-party emergency meeting held at the CO office in Altino. NCP spokesperson Avinash Bosley also demanded to scrap the postal ballot votes and conduct a fresh new repoll. Goa Forward spokesperson Durga Das Kamat disclosed that postal ballot papers were distributed even after elections, whereas some government servants were not given the postal ballot papers. Kamat demanded an inquiry has to be conducted on distribution of postal ballot papers as it is a serious matter. NCP spokesperson Avinash Posley said that CEO Kunal refused to comment on military servicemen, casting their vote as the matter is sub judice and court. सीरियस इश्यू इलेक्शन कमिशन मुखार दौल अध्यक्ष बाब तिमले तक पत्र के आता पोस्टल बैलेट जी बैलेट पेपर आसा ये गवर्नमेंट सर्वंटा चार तारीख कट ऑफ डेट आशी ऑन द डे ऑफ वोटिंग तेज नर दिवंक जाएना इट शूड बी डिस्पैच बिफोर फोर्थ पुण क्लासीक केसेस जो अठार तारखे वीस तारखे फॉर गवर्नमेंट सर्वंटा पोस्टल बैलेट दिल वोटिंग कर डिस्पैच के ही केसेस कमिशन मुखार दौर आसा एंड हीज टेकन अ सीरियस कॉग्नेस ऑफ इट कारण सर्टन गवर्मेंट ऑफिसर लेट अस टेक कंसिडर दैट एक्स गवर्मेंट ऑफिसर दे नो दैट ही वोट वोट फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर पार्टी मे बी फॉर अ रूलिंग पार्टी तक ते पोस्टल बैलेट दिल गए ना ओनली आफ्टर ही प्रोटेस्टेड एंड कंप्लेन कंप्लेन हिज पोस्टल बैलेट वॉज गिवन टू हिम ऑन एटीन ऑफ फेब्रुवरी देर आर केसेस मेनी मेनी ऑफ सच केसेस वी हैव ब्रॉड इट टू द नोटिस ऑफ द सी ओ राइट नाउ ते मे कि देर वॉज अ लॉन्ग डिस्कशन ऑन दीज एंड ही सेट दैट इज अ वेरी सीरियस ऑफेंस जला खरे सीरियस एंड ही हेज एन्क्वायर्ड ऑर्डर एन्क्वायरी ऑर्डर के ऑलरेडी हजर चार तारखे नर को पोस्टल बैलेट दिल हजर चौकशी जा खुद आरोनी बिकॉज इट इज अ सीरियस ऑफेंस यू कैन नॉट गिव आफ्टर फोर्थ नाउ दीज मैटर कूड नॉट बी डिस्कस एज वन पर्सन इंडिव्यूजल कैपेसिटी लो हेज challenge in the high court matters being sub judice it was he said it was not proper it's, to uh, discuss it he refrained from coming he refrained from coming we did CEO. not we did not but there were queries which were it other than the issue which could be and he said he is not going to comment because it is sub judice there is no point in discussion it is a post mortem sort of it for a posterity and for to improve the propriety of the apex body premier body which is uh, election commission of india we said a suggestion in future even now right now there is a breathing time 11th will be the counting will take place all the postal votes which have been casted now when which are in the drop box or which are in their custody should be discarded let all the gone electorate which casted vote on 4th of uh, this month uh, that through evms a uh, similarly a day could be fixed where all 70000 odd votes they could cast with the 40 uh, constituency ballot and one day that exercise can be taken and this vote should be counted as of the all the sample this was a suggestion objection as you meeting at the nadir judge no, suggestion no no this issue i mean you can suggest kala to me ranga ajun meetings are ekrat point of discussion is a matter i think meeting as a matter of solve solve sir for prime video journalist mahesh wangankar panjim Advocate Iris Rodriguez on Tuesday moved to the Goa Human Rights Commission over the inordinate delay by the government in processing the pension papers to retiring employees. Retirement benefits are accumulated savings of lifetime of service and no one can delay or deny it. 
Advocate Iris pointed out to the case of Mahadev Parekar, a retired High Court peon who was found hanging at his house in Satari due to delay in his pension procedure. Iris, in his petition, has sought the GH. RC to direct Chief Secretary and Director of Accounts to disclose what steps and measures they would take to ensure there is no violation of human rights. Advocate Iris Roderick stated that respective government officers should start the process of issuing the pension documents a year before the staff or the employee retires. A government employee should start receiving the pension soon after he retires, rather than run from pillar to post to get his files cleared. Iris noted the case of Mahadev Parekar, the High Court peon who had retired on August 31, 2016, allegedly struggled to get his pension papers cleared. Iris stated that government should act immediately to resolve the employees' issues rather than wait till lives are lost. I have today moved the Goa Human Rights Commission over the repeated cases of inordinate uh, delay on the part of the Goa government in uh, processing the uh, pension applications of the staff retiring. Uh, it is very unfortunate that uh, uh, staff who are retiring as government servants have to wait for months, if not years, to get their pension. This is an unacceptable, uh, unacceptable position, and it's a clear violation of uh, the human rights of those employees retiring. That is the reason I have today moved the Goa Human Rights Commission, seeking their intervention and seeking a direction to the Goa government that uh, uh, the heads of all departments should start the process of processing the processing the application for pension at least a year before uh, that officer retired. For Prime Video Journalist, Mahesh Vangankar, Panjim. The Verna police on Monday raided a building at Kumorda in Verna and rescued two young girls who were procured for the purpose of prostitution. Verna police have arrested a brother keeper, Jyoti Vijay Doble, and the building owner, Jerry Carvalho, under Section 3, 4, 5 and 6 of the Immoral Traffic Prevention Act. The two rescued victim girls, one from Mumbai and the other from West Bengal, Kolkata, were sent to the protective home for women. Murumagao DYSP Lawrence D'Souza said that Verna police raided the building premises at Kamboda in Verna after receiving information from their sources. The police arrested the brothel keeper Jyoti Vijay Doble at Ashraf Nagar Verna and the building owner namely Jerry Carvalho, a resident of Kamboda Verna, for procuring the two young girls aging 20 and 32 year old for the purpose of prostitution. I'm going to information that immoral trafficking is going on in Venna PS jurisdiction. So according to a trap was laid by PI Venna. And one lady by name Jyoti Vijay Doble, she was arrested with two more ladies. And these two ladies were rescued. And one lady is from Bombay, one is from West Bengal, Calcutta. And they both are taken to women protection home. Sir, and they are darling Dullamut. That is that uh, he is the owner of that uh, house. You see, Jerry Carvalho from now on. For Prime Video Journalist Kiran Borkar, Vasco. Police Inspector Traffic Kalangut has disclosed that 4,004 accidents were reported for the year 2016 and out of which 316 were fatal accidents. Out of the 336 lives claimed, 228 were of the two-wheelers and pill and riders, Salim Sheikh informed. He added that most of the accidents reported is either due to no wearing of helmets or due to drunken driving. However, Salim Sheikh disclosed that it is difficult to test the blood sample of the disease to check the alcohol consumption. सगले जितके एक्सीडेंट्स आता ने गोयन आमी सगले नोट करून दोरता एक्सीडेंट रजिस्टर आता प्रत्येक पोलीस स्टेशन पोलीस स्टेशन वाइज ते तितून आमी विलेज रोड हायवेज सगले तो रजिस्टर केले आता सो आता लास्ट इयर आमी 2016 आमचे टोटल एक्सीडेंट्स गोयन झाला इज 4304 टोटल एक्सीडेंट रिपोर्टेड आणि इतून आउट ऑफ दिस तितून फॅटल एक्सीडेंट रिपोर्ट झाले वर 316 out of 316, the person skilled were 300 and 
36 persons, 336 people died in the fatal accidents reported in the year 2016 in Govan roads. So, the majority of the vulnerable, most vulnerable look is two-wheeler riders. So, 336 persons killed. So, the motorcycle rider, kill rider, and the pillion rider, that were 228 people, 228 persons died in the fatal accident. So, alarming rate. For Prime Video Journalist, Swapnil Tari, Panjim. The inspection of the fishing jetty based at Kartani, which was fixed on Tuesday, was postponed in view of the implementation of model code of conduct for the assembly election. The villages of Kartali KOC have recently opposed for the construction of existing fishing jetty and opted for repair or upgradation of the existing fishing jetty. Kortali Emily Alina Saldana, Kortali Kero Panchayat, Panch Hilario Figueredo, and other officials of the various departments were present on the occasion. There were government officials that had come for the inspection, and as per the and as per the conditions in the election code, I think government servants cannot uh, be involved in public meetings. They were under the impression that the, this inspection would be just with a few panchas. They did not expect people to be there. So they requested that the meeting be postponed so that you know their jobs are not at stake. meeting. <laughs> Kiran Karvasko. Well, it's time for a short break. Stay tuned. This is Info Media Prime Slot Network. And you're watching Prime. Your voice, your channel. Welcome back. The pay parking system of the Corporation of City of Panjim seems to be in a total mess. The agreement signed between the CCP and the other contractors straight deal services is nothing but a mere piece of paper that does not have a legal value. Moreover, the agreement does not include two important annexures or schedules. One, the description of the parking lots allotted to the contractor and the second, the parking fees that should be charged. Prime TV in its initiative decided to find the ground reality and here is what we found. Amidst allegation that there is a scam in the parking fee collection by the CCP, Prime TV decided to go on the ground to find out and assess what is the condition of the parking fees and uh, we, will, uh, we will be visiting board by board. Uh, actually going through the details of the agreement which prime tv has access the agreement that has been signed by the contractor and the ccp 
So we will be assessing and f trying to find out uh, the allegations and trying to prove whether they are really correct or they are wrong. As we try to find out uh, the parking fee structure as per Schedule 1 and Schedule 2, the presumably Schedule 1 and Schedule 2 of the agreement between the contractor and the CCP, uh, we did mention that parking fees are not supposed to be collected as per the agreement on Sundays and holidays. But here we have a resident of uh, Panjim, Luigi, and uh, he is aware of the fact that uh, parking is collected on Sundays and, and holidays. Luigi, ha uh, have you ever bumped into any uh, personnel of the contractor charging you on Sundays and uh, on holidays? Yeah, they were asking me for fees, but I say I'm not paying. And that's it. Because you're not supposed to charge. Aapko yahan aake kuch malum nahi padta hai. So, if uh, CCP has something written, you will know. You come here, you park the car, you pay for the payment, you are going. There is no knowledge and you should write that they have a Sunday off, they are going to park in it, or they are going to take it or not. First of all, you should give them knowledge. Because there is a difficulty, they are going to take it and they are going to take it on Sunday. Holiday day को नहीं लेना चाहिए था parking. आपने कोई board नहीं ऐसे में board कहीं नहीं देखा है हमने कहीं लिखा हुआ rules भी नहीं उसको पता है क्या है नहीं है. The basic reason why CCP decided to allot this parking or or bring about parking system in the city of Panjim was to bring about discipline. Uh, uh, it was noticed that many people used to park the vehicles the way they wanted. Now, in the agreement, it is mentioned that the personnel of the contractor that has taken the contract for, uh, to, to, uh, to have the parking system in place, they are supposed to assist the, the, the vehicle owners in parking the vehicles properly and within the line. Now, you can see this vehicle here, it has crossed the line. And you can see the other vehicle also, it has it is being bulging out, taking almost half of the road. So, has the CCP gained from the parking system is the is the question that uh, we want the the CCP authorities to look into, and we also want that the people uh, are aware of the facts of the agreement, and that's the prime reason why Prime TV is coming to you, uh, bringing this story and opening up the can of worms, as you as you may say, to the public. <laughs> तकलीफ आते हैं लोग यहाँ पे बोलते हैं हम लोकल है नहीं देते हैं नहीं दूंगा एक दस मिनट के लिए आता हूँ क्या दूंगा करके हमको बाद में कुछ लोग बोलते हैं मैं बाद में देता हूँ रे आके देता हूँ कोई आता गालियाँ भी मारता है सब कुछ सुनना पड़ता है हमें आपको मालूम है कॉन्ट्रैक्टर ने आपको एक यूनिफॉर्म देना मांगता है आ यूनिफॉर्म दिया था शुरुआत में दिया था सुनता हूँ लेकिन मैं आके तीन महीना हुआ हमको नहीं मिला यूनिफॉर्म हमारे सर ने बोलता है सर तो कोई पूछा तो ट्वेंटी फोर से बोलो लेकिन हम सात बजे तक रुकते इधर नौ से सात बजे सारे जब किसी दिन साढ़े छः बजे से चले जाते हैं और संडे और हॉलिडेज के लिए आप चार्जिंग लेता है चार्जिंग हमको नहीं मिलता लेकिन हम ड्यूटी पे रहता है हमको पेमेंट नहीं मिलता करके हम ड्यूटी पे आता हो तब पेमेंट मिलता है हमको नहीं लोगों को चार्ज करता है संडे और हॉलिडेज को हाँ चार्ज करता हूँ हम ड्यूटी पे आते हैं सबका चार्ज है लेकिन इसमें एक चीज़ बताओ अभी इसका दस का दिए इसमें तुमने मेरे गाड़ी का नंबर नहीं डाला नहीं सर गाड़ी का नंबर डाल दूँगा तुम नहीं नहीं लेकिन जब तुमने मुझे दिया तो नहीं डाला मैं बोल रहा था तुम नहीं डालोगे टाइम डाला डालूंगा सर अभी डालोगे उट Five lakhs twenty-five thousand per month. Uh, documents that we have gone through says that the contractor has not paid this five lakh twenty-five per month. Uh, in fact, uh, to add to that story is the CCP convening a special meeting, and in that meeting, saying that they have reduced the cost of uh, the, uh, the 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 and uh, the monthly contract of 525 to 50 percent of it that works out to 250000 which again is not allowed by by the laws in force it has also come to light and uh, the ccp commissioner is on record saying that uh, they they have less funds because of faulty agreements and 
the faulty agreements in brackets is clearly found in this particular agreement signed by the CCP with the contractor. The agreement is is in is complete flawed because there is no mention of witnesses. That particular agreement has not been endorsed by the civil registrar, so it becomes a document which is uh, which is which cannot be challenged in the court of law. Now, the moot question that uh, that prime team would like to ask and also i'm sure that the people will definitely have this in mind is the ccp performing its duties as per the likeness of the people as per uh, the uh, goodwill of the people is the ccp meant to satisfy the people or to satisfy their needs that's the moot question that we need to ask and that's the, that's the mood question that Prime Timmy is trying to throw to the public. The winners of Prime Selfie Contest were declared on Tuesday at the Mahila Sahatya Utsav 2017 at Institute Menezes Braganza. The selfie contest was organized by Prime TV where a person had to click selfie with their favorite woman with a caption of 30 words. The first prize was awarded to Sahili Kamath Bambolikar. The second was given to Virat Savant and the third prize to Stacey and Mohan. All the winners were felicitated by renowned Marathi actress Ila Bhatti. The first selfie contest prize winner Sahili Kamath Bambolkar and the second prize winner Virat Savant were not present at the venue to collect their prizes. Their prizes were collected by their relatives on their behalf. Prime Media Cha Selfie Pratyogite Pratham Kramankavar Vijeta Ahitya Sahili Kamath Bambolkar. Sarvani Puna Idha Tayancha Garazad Tana Prutsan Devi Sagani Taya Vazun Tana Prutsan Devi. She is a ray of sunshine on a gloomy day. She is courageous in the heart, confident in herself, compassionate in her thoughts, strong and graceful. She is my queen. Stacy Chodankar. <laughs> For Prime Video Journalist Swapnil Tari and Rajendra Tamta Panjim. Women's organization along with Prime Media TV and Lions Club of Alam de Marga will jointly organize International Women's Day at Federation Colony Dawali on Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. In order to encourage the women to show their talents on this occasion, competitions such as cooking competition and fancy dress competition will be held. ढान्यापासून दोन डिशी तयार करपाची म्हणजे एक तिखट आणि एक गोड असे पदार्थ तयार करपाची एक स्पर्धा पाहायला खातिर आम्ही आयोजित केली to convert some major district roads into highways was strongly opposed on Sunday by the special Gram Sabha of the Kalangut Panchayat. They adopted a resolution saying that the move would destroy tourism along the beach belt. The special Gram also observed that the conversion of village roads, especially the Sikeri to Arpora stretch into highways would have serious repercussion on tourism along the beach belt in North Goa. 
The residents said that government should maintain their MDR rather than converting them into national highways. The government decision on the conversion of roads into highways has raised hackles in the state as the Supreme Court has banned liquor outlets along national and state highways. People in Kalango do not need highways as it will kill the livelihood of the people. NH will not benefit any residents. The MDRs has to be developed, the residents said. Regarding the national highway in Kalango and up to Shikiri, so I the opposite to tunnel. So I'm going national highway na karan ke MDR road saathe I'm maintain kori thale I'm kaje puro. Ani national highway story thali thale I'm ka kalangut karan ani village jaran khub trust thale ani hamche identity karin kabar thale. Vehemently with tooth and nail against this whole national highway that they have declared because it's going to disturb tourism completely. This is just a money making racket by the current government. We have got a strong objection for this major district road from Sikeri to Arpara should not be converted to national highway and uh, we request the government to please open your eyes and please you know come out with a very nice uh, suggestion and, and uh, planning. You can develop the road but not make it a national highway. Kalangut constituency does not need a highway. Government should do sustainable development and not destroy the livelihood of the people. The issue of converting MDR into highway was not approved or discussed by the Chief Minister Lakshmikan Parsikar in the assembly session, Sarpanch of Kalangut Joseph Sikera said. On both sides, from uh, Kalangu, uh, main road up to the beach and from main road up to Saligao, Anga tourism and kinds of China. Mining industry born Gala, to share a tourism industry born Gurpa Gala. BJP so Hetu, he Goya Sarke Kabar Gurpa. For Prime Video Journalist Subhash Kutwalkar, Mapsa. In a major accident at Old Goa, nine vehicles, including a two wheeler, rammed into each other at the Neura Old Goa junction around 5 pm. The accident occurred when the front tire of a truck bursted and the driver lost control and rammed into the car, following which the other cars also rammed into each other. The injured were rushed to Goa Medical College, Bambalim. However, the exact number of casualties is not reported but reportedly have sustained minor injuries. Head Constable of Old Goa Police Station, Julio, gave the details to Prime TV. Police are further investigating the case. Bureau Report Prime with inputs from Arturo D'Souza, Panjim. Tell us how you like this newscast. WhatsApp is on 9637969244 or email us on newsprimegoa at gmail.com. Well, that's all for the news now. Stay tuned for more news and updates. Till then, keep watching Prime. Mm -hmm.